Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. I'm gonna do your quickie reading. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, personal reading links and uh, extended readings, all that good stuff is in the description box below. Definitely go check that out. I did put up some t uh, timeless readings so that you can purchase if you would like that in the description box there below. Okay. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what the messages are. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We already had the Six of, or uh, yeah, the Six of Wands show up here. The Empress. Wow, you're looking good, Virgo. <laughs> you're looking good. Look at fine. Mighty fine. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like you're going to be getting a lot of attention soon, or if you're not already, people supporting you. Uh, a victory you got the wreath there you're looking stunning good um, disposition I feel new beginnings starting your life here changing some things maybe making some changes to your appearance to your spiritual um, uh, meditation or uh, practices spiritual practices your mental and emotional health looking very good let's see definitely going through some massive changes in your life Virgo and a lot of support and a lot of people are going to be like wow just you're wowing wowing others you got some fans what is going on here yes look at that positive energy support yes very good oh what's this hmm Eight of Swords. Let's see. Putting some stuff behind you here. Oh boy. Listen, Virgo, you got somebody I feel like is really stressing about your your I want to say glow up with the sun. This makes me feel like a like a big old glow stick. You got somebody here. Yeah, this feels because this is not your energy. You don't go from this to this. Okay. You have someone who is like almost to the point of like a nervous breakdown, stressing. Um, I feel like somebody's, <laughs> I feel like you've got somebody who's like um, watching you and they're kind of like, what the heck's going on? What's going on with Virgo? Wait, hold on a second. Uh, I've just heard 1987. So we just, I just heard 1987. Significant year for someone. That was a long time ago. Okay. Um, Virgo. Oh, wow. Yeah, look. Some, okay. So there's someone in your, in your, it feels like maybe your person. I don't know what's going on here, but they are like, in a really bad way they're very they're it's like a real strong insecurity this person has and i feel like it has something to do with your glow up here like they're very jealous they feel crushed because either you're doing well or they're just jealous of all the attention that you're getting virgo or will be getting okay they're like, I'm hearing, I don't even know Virgo anymore. Who is this person? Like, there's a major shift is what I feel like is happening in your life. You're making some huge changes, glowing up, doing things differently. You have a lot of support around you. You look fantastic or you're making yourself look fantastic. I guess if we're going to talk about aesthetics, definitely in that area. Um, but there's somebody here who's like really, they're, they're envious could be a romantic partner it could be a friend anybody i mean this is just someone whose their insecurities are coming out here and they're looking at you like i'm hearing like where'd you go what did you do like you have like you're showing some kind of surprise maybe you're coming out with some kind of surprise that's just gonna be wowing this person i feel like they so i'm looking at this little ghost here and i feel like you're like currently you're undercover working on some working on something in silence undercover and they can't even imagine like right now what it is but when when you come out 
and reveal whatever this change is that you're working on. It could be your money, uh, it could be your career, it could be like your 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 emotional self, your physical, uh, the way you speak, changing some stuff, maybe creative projects that you're doing. I really feel like this person is just going to be very envious and or jealous of all this attention that you're going to be getting for something else that you're doing okay this person is trying to distract themselves because they're really upset about the fact that you are i feel like what's the other reading i feel like there was something about uh, somebody was shocked that because you're doing better without them and it looks like that's what's currently happening here you're in a much better place Look at you, happiness, joy. And this person's like, they might be looking at you online. They're gonna see some kind of changes if you have, if you put stuff like that out there on the internet. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, you got something you're doing here in silence. Working on yourself, building in silence. Okay, so this person's definitely going to be reaching out to you pretty quickly in August for sure. Very curious. They're very curious. Why are you getting all this attention? What's going on? They want to know. They want to know how you're... Oh my gosh, yeah. They're going to be coming in very fast. Very curious. Who are you... Who, like who's... They think... Well, I'm just hearing them say... Are you, who are you with? Who are you dating? Are you dating? Who are you talking to? What are you doing with your life? Did you buy a house? Did you sell your house? Did you come across a whole bunch of money? Like, it's just this curiosity. What did you do to your hair? Did you, like, gain some muscles? Did you lose weight? Did you, like, what did you do? There's improvement here that I see with you, like some self-improvement. And this person... And they're not happy about it. I mean, I don't know if they're not happy about it, but it doesn't involve them. And they're jealous. And, and jealous of, they see you getting a lot of attention and they want to know why. What did you do? What are you changing? <laughs> yeah, they're going to be coming out with it. Give me the truth. They want the truth. They want to know what's going on. Okay. Well, hey, you know what? Virgos don't give away their secrets, right? Let me see. Yeah, this... Oh, my gosh. Like, there is this energy of this person um, being kind of smug, too. Kind of turning it around and be like, I don't know if they're in competition with you. I don't know if they're in competition or what's going on. They might be. They want to know what your secret is. What, what's your secret sauce? What's the secret sauce you have going on here? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're definitely moving in a new place, in a new direction. And they are not. Yep. Here's the Knight of Cups. You guys, listen. This person is like intrigued and getting catching some feels for you for this whole new thing that you're doing here. But it looks like you've moved away from this person. So in a romantic sense, yes. They're going to be coming in with some kind of proposal. It feels like, <coughs> excuse me, it feels like, um, <clears throat> remember when Sandy went to Frenchie and she was like, can you help me? <laughs> can you help me? And then she goes and like, and Frenchie fixes her hair and, you know, gets her in that black satin suit and, you know, and then uh, Sandy comes out at the carnival and all, all the dudes are like, oh, oh, oh. And they're like, Sandy, what what did you do? It's this energy. <laughs> it's, so, it's kind of petty, but, you know, I mean, it's just what I'm getting. You know, like you're like Sandy. You better shape up because I need a man. Yeah, there's something here. You can't make somebody shape up, so you're going to shape up. Yep, that's what I feel like is going on here. And this person's just going to be like, I got chills. They're multiplying. <laughs> this is a fun read. Seriously, this is a fun. Good for you, Virgo. Good for you. Getting your money up. Getting that credit score up. 
working hard, having new beginnings, self-improvement, all of that. I feel like this person, yeah, very jealous. They're going to be very jealous of any attention you're getting. You got a King of Cups here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Very jealous of all the attention you're getting. You're building in the silence. You know, you got that cake in the oven. You're letting it cook. You're not telling anybody. And then you're going to take it out in private, decorate it, and then present it to the world. That's what's going on here. <laughs> and this person's like, oh my God, down on the knees, like, I want you back. Or I want to be with you. Or I need to, like, they become a fan. They become a fan, but they're going to, like, really pursue you because of these improved changes that you're making. Okay, one last card. Yep, there you go. Two of cups. Oh my God. Two of cups. Can we meet? Can we get together? Can we see each other? I want to be with you. New love, new starts. We're on the same page. Now you're now we're talking. That's what I hear is going on here. Now we're talking. Wow. Alright, let me get some charms. This is crazy. Oh, look. Yeah, the ship's wheel. The wheel is turning. Oh, the wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Yep. Look, to me, that looks, to me, that feels like the wheel of fortune. Do you know what I mean? This is like the wheel is, the wheels are in motion in your life. A turning point. You're coming across a major turning point here. Maybe you're winning some money, doing some gambling. I don't know what's going on. Taking some risks, but you have like good fortune. That wheel's turning in favor. You're the captain of your ship. You are steering this ship. What is this? Oh, we got a cobra. Oh, that's new, you guys. I don't think we've had this yet. Somebody might be born in the year of the snake. We do have a snake, cobra, and look, making a heart shape. Oh, you got a snake coming in. Yeah, slithering snake. But this is also a little bit of your energy, shedding your old skin. You're shedding your skin, Virgo. Yep. And what does a snake do? He sheds his skin and he's got brand new skin. You're in your new skin for sure. This is your, mostly this is your energy. I don't feel like this person coming in is a snake. Snake, like bad. Um, they could be. It just depends. But you also have kitten purr. Purr. Meow. You have something here, Virgo, where... Mm, something about that pussy. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but <laughs> snake and a pussy cat. Let's just leave it right there. This reading is getting very R-rated. Yes. A snake wants to, wants to come visit the kitty. <laughs> I'm going to get banned. I just know it. I'm going to get banned. X-rated tarot readers right here. I'm the only one. Bring it on over. Well, maybe I'm not. I don't know. I don't really check it out but yeah major shifts major changes one last message for Virgo please one last message <clears throat> one last message for Virgo so jealous of all the attention you're going to be getting with your new found shoes Virgo you got the power I got the power oh yeah look five of wands that's the competition there's conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions, walking away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time, and standing up for yourself, very ambitious people. Yes, five of wands, energy, rivalry, challenges, some sport, competition. Somebody's coming in to fight. Fight. They, want, they don't want you to have a lot of attention from other people. They want to be the only one. Yes, Virgo. They want to be the only one that you're going to see, that you're looking at. Definitely fighting for this, fighting, fighting, fighting. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Hope that that gave you some insight about what I feel like is going on. Um, do click the like and subscribe button if you enjoy the readings. And just go believe, uh, beneath the video here in the description box and check out all the new links that I posted. And also, if you want to get a personal reading, Everything's in there. All right, you guys, I'll see you back here very soon. Take care.